This is just by my feet. It might be broken, but I can see so far that I think it is a cricket clay pipe. Come on. <laughs> it's not broken. <laughs> so there is the, oh, sorry. So there's the wickets, the bat, the ball, and what's on the other side? What is on the other side? Is it broken? No, oh, just trying it? to figure out what's on the other side. Be a cricketer. Is that a cricketer? <laughs> I can't tell what that is. What is that? Is it like a Masonic symbol? No. It's cricket though. It's cricket? Yeah, I don't know. things like cropped up, the crickety things. It looks a bit like a spoon. Huh? It looks a bit like a spoon, but that's absolutely amazing. That's, I've not found a pipe, even any bit of a cricket pipe. Hey. Another chandelier drop. That to me looks like a god bottle. But the question is, then, I find these a lot here and they're always broken. See, it looks like something one that someone's left. So, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's not. Oh my gosh, a complete cob bottle with the marble still inside. Mum's found one of these, but I have not found one of these. Oh, and it's got bubbles. Is it W. Hayward Maidstone? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wonder if I, if it'll be able to clean it up. <laughs> like this is the only place I ever had a chance of finding one, and I found one. <laughs> thank you, Dom. Thank you. <laughs> and then, not far away, sort of in the same vicinity, I can already see that this one is broken. Oh. <gasps> Oh, but look how beautiful it is. Oh, it's masculine sun made stone again. <gasps> oh, it's still got the marble inside. And from the front, you can't tell it's broken. And like I said, I don't know when we'll ever find another cold, whole cold bottle again. So it's so beautiful. It's still got the marble inside. I'm going to take it. And it's so tiny. And it's got the lion. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to take it, aren't I? Oh, where's the other one? Put them next to each other. Oh, look how big this one is. Oh, amazing. It's that small blue thing. Is it a bee? Or is it a marble? I did neither. I don't know what that is. It's a hole. Got marble. I can tell it's going to be broken. Well, I can tell it's broken, but I wonder what it has on the end. <laughs> A little bubble stopper. Nice. Something very satisfying about actually digging something out. I actually found some things. It's a clay pipe. Oh. Just fluted, but no clay pipe. Oh, just fluted. Yeah. Look what I've just unearthed. Oh. 
do you think it's gonna have the rest of him? Is it a dump doll candidate? <sighs> it's a googly eye doll. Oh my goodness. Or a QP. Oh my gosh, that face is gonna be so cute cleaned up. <gasps> it definitely does. Oh, dump doll. <laughs> This just fell out. What do you think? <gasps> it's another one of those! No way, it's another one of those! Huh? The one the, the, the ones with the weird... <gasps> the little imp! Another imp! <gasps> He's so tiny! Oh my gosh! He's a lot smaller than the other one. He's so tiny, I was gonna go... I think I just found a lead seal. Let me see. My arm aches from digging. Or is it just not? <laughs> Can't tell. It's that sort of shape, isn't it? It's that sort of shape, but... Nothing on it. There might be something on the other side. I don't know, to take it home. Clean it properly. Might be. Might not be. Do I even see? Could just be a blob of lead. <laughs> just be a blob of lead. <laughs> I'm gonna keep digging anyway. So I said that I was going to go and have another walk around, and instantly, a beautiful bead. I think that's a really old bead too. Look at the beautiful colour. Is that just a blob of metal or is it some sort of lead figurine? Oh it is. It's a man. Or it would have been a man riding a a horse. Oh <laughs> Oh, that's excellent though. I haven't found a lead figurine in a very long time. I wonder where the rest of him is. A tiny bottle. It's on the tiny bottle. It, is it? Oh no, it's very lodged. Oh, it could be whole. <laughs> Careful. Here, I'll do this one, you do that one. I'll just gently take away the stuff and the edges. Wake. There's glass That's very cute. Has it got anything on it? Partial. Maybe I can't see what it is. Oscar said it looks like a dragon or a snake. <laughs> the same, it's broken. A dragon snake. <laughs> the tiniest button. Absolutely minuscule. scraping around in what Oscar knocked out. There was a beautiful bead that he must have knocked out of the wall and didn't realise, bless him. Beautiful, beautiful bead. Excellent. He used to moan about the shells at this stump, but not shells like this. Beautiful. I think I might scrape here, as just from here I can see, I think this is the tiniest part of a broken bead. And then there's this, which is a broken half a beautiful green bead. And then what I assume that is a whole white bead. <gasps> it is, oh, 
No! Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to put this all together and hope that I keep it all together safe and hope that I can glue it together. That just fell apart as soon as I picked it up. Okay, I'm going to have a scrape though. Oh yeah, because look, actually. <gasps> okay. There's a blue one. Oh, okay, I'm going to scrape this pile and see if I can unearth any more beads. <laughs> Luckily, the beads are super brightly coloured. So, it shouldn't be too hard to spot them in the brown dirt. Oh, wow! Oh, it's broken, but that's okay. Look what's just fallen out of the dirt. Beautiful, really thin bottle, but yeah, it's broken at the top. But we can probably just sand that down. That's beautiful. Oh, that's a good patch. <laughs> I mean, but I, I sort of imagine this whole place is one good patch. It's just deciding which patch to. I thought I'd unearthed a marble then, but it's the, the foot of the tripod of the camera. Doesn't appear to be any more beads. That's strange. I actually only found two whole blue ones. There was a whole white one, which hopefully I could glue together, and a half a green one. I should remember the name of this type of pottery but it's got a windmill on it so I think I'm going to take it for a craft Melson tiny piece of blue has attracted my attention what do you think it is? Oh, I think it might be. Hmm. Might be part of a bead. That's very pretty. There's another bit of colour. Oh, have a look. Look at that. Does that look like things I found before? Oh look! It's a glass hand, that's so beautiful! Mum? That'll be really excellent for crafting. That's, oh look, I think, oh is it a bird? Oh, I wonder what that would have been. A swan? Again, good for crafting. A bone ring. Hmm. I like a bone ring or a bone disc. Well, you're definitely not one of our normal finds, but you're still very exciting and I hope you still have a face. Oh, I can't tell. Oh, but look, it's a little plastic doll. Oh, I'm going to have to be super careful with you. But you could be a dump doll. Doesn't matter that you're plastic. You're a doll that's come from the dump. That looks like it could be good for Bitsy and Norma's house. I imagine it's a doll's pot lid. It is. Oh, how precious. Right. 
Is it a head? No. <laughs> it's a lump. <gasps> no, it is! It is a head. <laughs> it is a head. It just has crud in the back and it's broken. <laughs> oh, the disappointment then, but it is, look. Just as you told me that you'd found a face, I immediately bend down and find a face. Mine's only a partial face of a doll. <laughs> yeah, I think what this is, is, although that? she's got weird... I was just... <laughs> Are you just about to say she's got weird Yeah, eyes? I think she's got like an eye patch on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mine looks like it's just got no eyes at all. Is it, I mean, like, it, oh, no, is it? Well, maybe, no, it's crud. I was going to say, oh, look, and a blue eye is exposed. I think this one will be sleeping. Yeah, look. Oh, oh beautiful. beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I think it's sleeping. Yeah. It's crying. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, wouldn't you cry? Yeah. Look at her just hanging on. Oh, not much left at all. Again, I don't imagine there'll be much left. Just a neck. Does that look like that could be something interesting? Oh, has it got little hearts? I think that's like maybe a, a hair, like a clip. A hair clip. Oh, that's adorable. First find it's a sort of iridescent bluish bead. Okay, I think what I spot there is a bucket list dream find. I don't even want to pick it up because, oh gosh, please don't be broken, please don't be broken. Can you see it? I believe that that is a check glass cracker charm like the one mum found here before she found a blue bulldog I think I've just found my own what are you you a bear oh, it's broken but it's a rabbit oh my what color are you you're yellow It is a 1920s cracker glass check charm and it is a rabbit and he's got a broken ear but it really doesn't matter. These are really rare and now we've both found one each. Oh wow, oh, oh thank you Dump. When there used to be loads of rabbits that lived here, obviously they're gone now, but... Oh wow, I mean it's a little bit battered, but... <sighs> okay, I think that's definitely going to be the first, best dine of the day, and it's one of the first. <sighs> Mum? Mum? I'm re... <laughs> It's yellow. I mean, it's broken and you're not, not as good condition as yours, but he's so oh, cute. No. Other here. I know, Look. I know. It's a coin. <laughs> Bobby has nothing left on it. Oh, maybe it does. I can't really, really see, but I won't rub it too much just in case. But it's a coin. It's not a coin. I don't think it's a coin. Ooh, that's exciting. It is exciting. And it might have like a shield on the other side. Ooh. 
Or is it, or does it say 20? Maybe it says 20 in like a hexagon. Do you think it's like old toy money? Did they used to make metal toy money? Um, I so presume so. In a, in, a, in a hexagon. Huh, I should clean it up. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that looks like a beautiful bead. Baby stingers. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's so big and frosty. Wow. Oh, that's a good bead. You can't tell if this is a bead or something else. Looks a bit like a tablet. Oh, or a sweet. Oh, that? Yeah, a, a bead. bead. Oh, it definitely is a bead day. Never have too many bead days. Okay, that's quite sad. Look. <laughs> oh no, he has an arm. Bizarre! What? <laughs> it's made of metal. Yeah. It's got like a purple cloak on. Or oh, maybe it's a, a lady in a dress. That might be like a lady cat, like a witch prototype. Hmm. It's so cute. <laughs> Ceramic horn. I said a ceramic horn. And then what's this? Oh. <laughs> no. What a strange face you have. Oh, look at your little mouth. <laughs> no, I found a face. With a really funny face. <laughs> I can actually see because I have my glasses on. It's a bead. <sighs> That's a pretty bead. Has Kate found something really cool down to? Oh, funny face. <laughs> ago here it's a wicker basket clay pipe oh wow oh how excellent i wonder if it's got any fire damage my other one had fire damage still not got any stem though one day but isn't that beautiful oh, excellent what a great day it's not the, mo uh, the most exciting bottle. It's a very cute shape, but it has some lovely iridescence on it. The sun raining. So I think I'll take that just because I can't bear for it to be left. was um, the last couple of trips that we took to the dump. Um, we're still sad. <laughs> um, we found some good things. Well, Kate found some amazing things. Um, what's your favourite thing? Kate has a cold, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't really be doing much talking this round up because I have a cold. Um, but yeah, my favourite thing is obviously my rabbit. So yeah, this is probably one of my favourite finds from the dump, ever, overall. And I never dreamed that I would find, when Mum found hers, I was so excited for her, but I never dreamed that I would find one of my own. And not only did I find one, I found a yellow, orange rabbit, <laughs> which is my favourite colour, and I absolutely love rabbits. So yeah, it's a dream come true, and he does 
unfortunately have a missing ear, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> this is this is the one that I found before. And the rabbit should have a collar on too, we will give him a give him a collar. Glass Christmas crackers from the 1920s. Mm-hmm. But Kate realised, well, she sort of recognised it, but was a bit worried because she couldn't find it, but then she found it. She already had one. So this is a little lilac uh, French bulldog, I imagine, that is the same as Mum's that I remembered when mum found hers but like she said I couldn't find it so I didn't want to mention it because I didn't want to seem like a bad person but then I sorted out my room and I found him and I bought this from a store at a local like second hand market when I was like, 11 for my doll's house not realising what it was and just knowing that it was adorable and it was like 10 pence or something mm. and this one still has the collar but yeah, I was so worried once I found out what they were and remembering that I used to have one when I was little, but he was tucked away in a box somewhere safe that I'd forgotten. It turns out Mum had one too. And I had one that I got at the market as well, which is like the black cat, lucky cat. I think I've got another one somewhere. So yeah, this is the this is the, the, the common size, I think. Uh -huh. So yeah, it turns out we actually have four in our collection. And this one, you said that someone said that that oh, one was yes, the clock face Oh yes, we were told that, that this... Clock face that we may have found, no, that we found at the dump may have been a glass charm. Another check. Another check glass charm. So yeah, I don't suppose we'll ever find another one now. We, we might. found one each at the same place, so yeah, absolutely amazing. So what's your favourite find? <laughs> this is, um, this is my favourite find. It, I found one of these before, but he's much bigger. I probably should have him here, actually, shouldn't I? Um, this is the other one. They're almost exactly this. Well, they are exactly the same, except that one's bigger. I haven't found anything like that anywhere else. I haven't seen anyone else finding a little bit. These ones look like little, little, little hair, I presume. Maybe they're Google eyes, or because the googly did have like that hair sticking up in the middle of their heads, and the hair eyes are quite googly. Mm -hmm. They are also sort of opposites though, because this one's really happy, and this one's really sad, and this one's looking this direction, and that one's looking that direction. Makes you think it could have been a set. Maybe. Oh, they do look like they belong together. They do. Talking of cupy and googly idols, I found the head of one. I scraped it out of a out of a hole. So hopefully he can become a dump doll one day. He's a bit um fire damaged and he's not got much paint left on his face but still adorable as is this funny fella which is a very unusual face so yeah it's another one that's sort of looking sideways he's got the eyelashes it's very detailed I'm not sure if it would have been painted or not it looks like he had a hat on so I'm not sure what we'll do with him I'm not sure his dull material might just have him as a funny little face on the shelf. Talking of funny little faces. He's quite unusual because he's got, I think he might, he's either got, had a painted eye or he's asleep. They did do sleeping. I and think you can just see an eye though, can't you? It's very small. But yeah. He's got a very dumpy chin too. I also found this face and the burn damage almost looks like she's crying. Which is quite poignant for the dump. There were a lot of tears. But yeah, just a beautiful face. Again, not sure what we'll do with her. I also found this plastic doll, which I am going to try and um, fix. She's very delicate, but she does just have the remains of a smushed face in there. So I've just got her little bow on her dress. I'll try and do something with her, I think. I found this amazing 
lead cat who's got a purple dress on I'd say it's a dress and not a, a cape because it's got a bow on the back so in my head it could be a Beatrix Potter figure could be the mother out of could be Tom Kitten's mum sort of looks like an apron or a dressing gown it's the only thing I can think of really but I love it. It's amazing. The detail on the face is incredible. And it reminds me of Sunny Cat. Because <laughs> it's great. Grey. Kate Palatine is a bit of a lead figure. There's not much left of it. No, really not. <laughs> Good for the collection. I found a cricket pipe. I've not found any part of a cricket clay pipe before. So it's got the wickets, mm -hmm. the bat, and the cricket ball. Stumps. Stumps. The wicket's tall. The wicket is what well, it's called, but that's called the stumps. Okay. <laughs> that is, I don't really know that much about no. <laughs> And then. As I, I can't figure out what this is. I've looked at some other cricket pipes, but I can't see any with this on the other side. It looks like a spoon. It's really weird. It's such a strange collection of shapes. It I really have no is. idea. So if anyone can decipher, it sort of looks like a penguin leaning on a <laughs> with a giant spoon. But obviously that's not what it is. <laughs> but if anyone can decipher or has seen one like it, please let us know. I found this fluted broken one. It's got quite a pretty laurels or up the seams. I don't think there's a maker on it. No maker's mark. But it's still beautiful. I just found this. What's it? What's the little. Tr it's a child. Is it like leaning on. Is it tree. Leaning on something knobbly? Yes, yeah, so a tree, I suppose. But the crazing on it is. Amazing. Yeah, I really like that. I found uh, I think it could be. I'm pretty sure it's a lead seal, bag seal, but I can't make out what's on it. But it's definitely got something on it. It's pretty melted. Yeah, I think it was probably in a fire, unfortunately. So yeah, that's what we think it is. Seems to be a bit too uniform to just be a blob of lead. As yeah. You can see it's imprinted on both sides as like indentations. And it looks the shape of a bag seal. And I did find that wax seal. Hmm. So who knows? Because it would have been folded over each, you know. I found a what? Oh, is, it, is it George V? I found a I found a George V coin from 1912. Is it a sixpence? Could be a sixpence. But yeah, there's there's, there's it's George. That's sort of size. And the date says 1912 on the bottom. So I always love a coin, and especially when you can date them, because this is also a George V coin in much worse condition. And the date's but broken unfortunately, off. the one bit that you can read the date is the one bit that's gone. So, yeah, still a beautiful thing though. All the colours on it are amazing. My coin's a bit more unusual, isn't it? My coin is quite unusual, yeah. Mum found, oh he said, I said it because it was toy, toy money, money and now I feel a bit, um, it's actually a 20 cent, an Italian 20 cent from 1918. See the 1918 there. I really don't know how that ended up in the dump. No, with the shield on the other side. I'll just do some close ups of this one. So yeah, 1918, just after the end of First the First World, World War. War. 
but that doesn't mean that's when it came to the dump, you know, could have, <laughs> someone could have brought it over in a pot of change in like the 20s. But, yeah, very, very cool. We've not found um, old foreign money before. No. So yeah, I imagine this, this coin has travelled quite far and I imagine it probably passed through quite a few. Oh, it's raining It's hard. really raining. Passed through quite a Ooh, few hands. thunder. <gasps> Of course, beads. Whoa! It's hailing. Oh, Hail hailstones! So I think this one is probably my favourite bead of the day. Oh my goodness! So yeah, this one's super bubbly. Looks like the ones the. Uh, the northern mudlarks make. Hmm. Maybe that's how it was made. To ask their opinion. Yeah, I think that one's quite old. Oh. Oh! I know, it's got a bead inside it. It's got a bead. Oh! A bead within a bead. The little bead just broke. There's obviously... Yeah. Two. That's the thin. second time that's happened to me now recently. <laughs> oh. But there is the bead. Should have left it in there. Yeah. Oh, oh intense curiosity did not yes. leave it alone. <laughs> so yeah, lots of blue ones, three very different blues and shapes. This is quite an unusual marble. I've not seen one like this before, but I've recently learnt that actually they used to dye clay marbles different colours. But I've never seen one. I've never seen anyone find a coloured one. I'm sure they have. I mean, the last marble I found had like a cross drawn on it. And then this one is dyed blue. So it's little blue clay marble, which is really cute. Like I say, I've never seen one before. Maybe the paint usually comes off, but because it was in the dump, it was preserved, I don't know. But I quite like that. Um, Mum found this partial pipe bowl, but it's got a K on it. It's also got like a, like a lasso, like a rope, and it's also got an S. It's also got the start of an S, I believe, on that side. So yeah, a K. Oh, what's that would have been there? No. Uh, I found a broken bottle stop. A big bubble. It's a big bubble, and it's got a tiny bubble inside. Yeah, I love these stoppers. They're just very satisfying things. This very grey um, doll face. I think it needs to be bleached. Yeah. Does it say Paris? Ooh. It says Paris. That would be French. a mess. My, 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 my French is terrible. Must. Oh. It says S dot E B. S dot F dot B dot J. <laughs> Something Paris, so a French lady. But yeah, it's incredibly. We can bleach her. Mm hmm. She's got good teeth though. Um, big shell. Gosh. Very battered shell. <laughs> um, a spoon. I can't read any. I can make a marking on it. There are some markings on it, but I think it requires a deep clean. And two chandelier drops. It's another thing I seem to find. I've got four now. I don't know if I should start hanging them up in the window. Look at that one. It's like cut along there too. They are beautiful things. Look at that from that direction. Wow. It's almost holographic. Mm hmm But they've all got holes in them, so maybe I should hang them up somewhere. Does that one look like? Yeah. And it's a swan. We can rebuild that easy. We've got a lot of swan heads. Yeah, the waves at the bottom is beautiful. 
We do have lots of swan heads. Mm, we can make a swan. I've got a plastic swan I want to make, haven't I? We should make some swans. We should make some swans. So these are my what two of my favourite finds of the day as well. This is my first ever complete cod bottle and another so very almost complete cod bottle. So here is my complete one. And it is a W Hayward. What does it say up there? Leeds and London, with a H on the bottom. A. Alexander and Company, Maidstone. And look! It still has the cord marble inside. And this one is in perfect condition. And it's not even that sick either. And I was so very excited to find that. Could Mum had found one and I hadn't. And it was a reward for that last time at the dump. And then there was this one. And there was this one. The masculine sun made stone with the little iron. And this one said, says, Red Fern Brothers Bottle Makers Barnsley. And it does unfortunately have that break at the top there. But if you listen, it's still got the marble inside. And from the front you can't tell that it's broken and it's just so beautiful and tiny compared to this bigger one that I just couldn't leave it. And now I have 1.8 <laughs> cod bottles to add to my bottle collection. This combined with the, uh, the rabbit, it was almost a perfect day for me and mm. my cricket pipe. These are my glass finds, not quite as impressive as um, cod bottles. I'd have already found my cod bottle, but um, I really like this, actually. I think this is beautiful. I think it would have been beautiful. But I imagine that I can make something rather nice with that crafting. And it's another hand holding something. That's my fourth, third? <laughs> I seem to like the chandeliers. I don't seem to just... Yeah. I always find things in threes or fours. I really like that. And then there's this, this little bottle. It's very highly decorated. It could have been a vinegar bottle maybe, possibly. But that's very pretty. Two pieces of either talky wear I think they're called, or Motto Wear, or Devon Wear. I think there's lots of different... I think the Devon Wear might be spotty. But um, it's called Motto Wear too because it usually has little sayings on it. And this one says, who's a feared? Who's a feared? And then we've got another one that we found a while ago. Down the dump. The one that said, help yourself... <laughs> help yourself... <laughs> it's good to Not again. Help yourself to mustard. Help yourself to a mustard. I just really like the colours, and this one has a um, has a windmill on it, so I couldn't couldn't resist. Well, it's, it's perfect for craft. This one would've been amazing for a candlestick or something. But it's, it looks like it had like mm, multiple handles. Mm, well, yeah, just or sort of just decorative, decorative, I think, yeah. like decorative twists. Um, I have to say thank you to a really lovely viewer. Well, we call her Beat, but that's not how you pronounce her name, apparently, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Beat. 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 I don't know how I'm going to try. No, we're very <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but she gave us some beautiful, beautiful marbles. It was a whole bag of marbles. Yeah, she sent us some really, really, they're all absolutely beautiful. Just some really stunning marbles. But we especially like the little... Beautiful, like sunset ones. Yeah, they're just amazing, and she sent us some beautiful buttons too. So, thank you very, very much for that. We have to thank Colin for the parcel that he sent. Um, and I just want to say we thank you for all the lovely comments on the films, like last last week's film. You were also kind and commiserated with us. Um, 
we're about to reach two big landmarks on both this YouTube channel and our Instagram channel. We are really, really, really close to being at 9,000 here and really, really close to being at 1,000 on Instagram. Um, we're trying to concentrate on doing Instagram. So if you have an Instagram account or if you'd be, you, I don't think you have to have an account, you could pop across there and have a look at all the things, all the pictures we put up. We put pictures of our collections and the way we craft sleeping. crafting things and yeah. And maybe follow us on Instagram if you could to get us to the 1000. We're gonna, um, for our 1000 special, I'm going to re string all the beads onto one long string. Maybe put them in colour order. Could take quite a while. Um, and also um, put a picture on of all our heads. Every, yeah, every single head we've ever found. So that's gonna be quite, quite a picture. <laughs> so, yeah, we just want to thank everyone. For who's commented, liked, subscribed. We want to thank all of our wonderful Patreons and anyone that's donated on Ko-fi. Yeah. Um, thank you. And unfortunately, that is the last of the dump. Yeah. That was our, our last trip to the dump. So yeah, it um, we cannot go back there now. So. It is weird, though, because la last week's episode of the dump was our 13th dump film. And it was unlucky. <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching us go to that dump as much as we enjoyed going there and I think we were rewarded with some great last finds so hopefully on Thursday there will be a craft video up uh, about the dump <laughs> so um, we'll see you then and we hope you have a good rest of the week oh and uh, happy mother's day oh yeah so <laughs> we will see you soon I just want to wish my mum a very happy Mother's Day. You've all seen my mum in some, a couple of our films. Happy Mother's Day, mum! <laughs>